welcome to Champlain Park High School for CTN's live coverage of high school football. It's week four in the 2024 season as the Cardinals hit the road to take on the Rebels. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines, and Howie were midway point of the season. Cardinals still looking for win number one. On the other side, Champlain Park coming off of their first win, but they just got a couple of key guys back, and they won decisively over Osseo last week. Yeah, we'll talk about the Cardinals first. Uh, they're, they're struggling, no doubt. Uh, they lost uh, Danny Scheller, their star, for a good portion of the, of the game last week. Good news, he's starting this week, so hopefully they uh, they can keep things going. They designed a couple of different game plans just in case he can't stay in there. So. They know this is a monumental task. They, you talked about a couple of players coming back, a couple of star players, and you could see what happened in that last week's game. Osseo uh, lost to them 40 to nothing. So coming in tonight, I think this is an opportunity for Coon Rapids to see what they can do, play a good first half, see if they can stay with it. But I think Champlain Park's going to come out firing with that, that wing tee, and I think they're going to run quite a bit at that defense. Well, and, and the Cardinals defense had its best performance of the season last week against St. Michael Albertville. They're going to need to turn it up another notch here, and it, they've got guys who are, have definitely answered the call. Yeah, Price Karen is one of them. Price has been playing the first three weeks with a broken wrist, and, and he's got 16 tackles on the season. He, last week, seven total. He's going to wear a club, and I think that's going to be really important for the defense because he's going to have to be able to wrap up ball carriers. Will that hamper him? We'll find out, but it's, he's a big cog on that defense. Yeah, and on the flip side, the uh, the Rebels coming off a shutout win over the Osseo Orioles, including a defensive score for a guy with a somewhat familiar name to Cardinals fans. Michael Bruggers, uh, obviously the son of uh, Coach Tom Bruggers, and uh, he's their stalwart on defense, and he's really the leader on and off the field. He has 15 tackles on the year, and as you mentioned, returned a fumble for a score last week. He leads that defense, and that the way he goes, that's how their defense plays. Well, they got the momentum they were looking for. The Cardinals still looking to get that first win. Can they get it on the road against the Rempels? We'll find out. Kickoff is next on CTN. Back to Champa Park High School, just about ready to get the kick underway. Jackson Young set to kick left to right. Luke, uh, Eric Lukes and Reese George, the deep backs for the Rebels, standing just inside their own five. Coach Keenan told me special teams going to be very important this evening for Champa Park. Young, a high end over end punt, fielded at the 11 by George, but bobbled and dropped. He scoops it up, trying to find his way around the left corner and does. Big return out across the 40, breaks into Coon Rapids territory. It looks like they might mark him out before that, but uh, a great return after a dropped return. Oh, he did a really he did a really nice job of evading the tackle, and that's what got him to the edge, and he was able to use his speed to get upfield, and as you mentioned, pretty good Oh, they, they're putting it at oh, the way back, way back. at the okay. 35. I didn't see that, but so yeah. So where he originally broke the tackle, yep. he also ended up out of bounds. Ball spotted right at the 35-yard line. 24-yard return and good field position for the Rebels. They start with some pre-snap movement, strong side left. Out of the shotgun, Telke will hand it off. A nice hole on the left side. And a great carry for Austin Tucker to start a gain of nine. Cam Cummings Coleman in on the tackle. Austin Tucker uh, has 10. His first game was back was uh, last week, so 10 carries for 106 yards. That's a pretty good average per carry and a touchdown in that 40 to nothing win over Osseo. Yeah, if you can get 10 yards of carry, you're doing pretty well, Joe. Tucky out of the shotgun, has a couple receivers on the right side. He's going to throw that way, pass complete to Mensos. Breaks around the corner, enough for a first down. Out near midfield, looks like they're going to spot it just short. 
And, and Jamel Kroma did a nice job of holding the edge to allow him. No, they got, he got the first down. I yeah, thought, so, I, oh, yeah, just short of midfield. Okay, gotcha. But, uh, yeah, he had a, did a nice job from his receiver position of just holding the edge and allowing him to gain that chain. Or they will put it right at midfield. There you go. Handoff again to Tucker, right side, breaks the tackle, and he's going to have another big chunk, a gain of eight. You know, when talking to Coach Russell, I said, you know, you know, what do you do? You're 0-3, and, you know, you've, you've struggled. And he says, you know, they, they had, first and foremost, Joe, that he thinks the best week of practice of the entire season. You know, when you're not scoring points, it kind of com uh, compounds the problem. So they're just trying to keep this thing moving forward, being positive. And, and, and I think on the defensive side of the ball, who I thought the defense played better last week, just they have to make sure they wrap up on tackles. Rebels rolling so far, second and two from the Coon Rapids 42. Handoff again to Tucker, waits for the blocks to develop, but not able to get around the corner. Stop for a loss back at the 43. Well, LeClaire and uh, Karen, you can see the club on, on Karen's, uh, Price Karen's right arm. But uh, Samson LeClaire had 15 tackles last week in that loss. They're going to give him back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and two. But most likely four downs territory at this assume. point of the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you're playing a team that's, you know, having difficulty scoring points, it's, it's, uh, you could take those kind of chances a little bit. Handoff goes to Preston Nelson. He's got great blocking to get around the corner and a big run down inside the 25. Forced out of bounds, just shy of the 20. Yeah, again, just nice burst around the corner. Karen had to come, come from his position in linebacker to make the play and force him out of bounds. But uh, that picks up another first down for the Rebels and they're doing a nice job on their first offensive series, just moving it up and up uh, upfield against the Cardinals defense. 21 yards on that carry. It's first and 10 from the Coon Rapids, 21. And off again goes to uh, Nelson. Nelson shifty, able to get another first down. Be looks like right at the 10, so it'll be first and goal, another pickup of 11. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have the, the uh, replay to, to watch, but just a great job of shaking tackles, and, and the Cardinals certainly have to do a better job of wrapping up, but uh, give him credit because he did a really nice job. He throws job. a couple of defenders he, he with really some shifty did. hips, and they're picking up yards in bunches. 55 yards on this drive, just six plays to get to a first and goal situation. Telke with two receivers on the left. Handoff goes to Preston again. He's got blockers in front of him, and that touchdown just too easy yeah. for Preston Nelson. Yeah, that was like a hot knife through butter. That was something that was uh, easily, barely touched as he made it to the end zone, and the Rebels are going to score first here in the first quarter. A nice, sustained offensive drive by Champlain Park. And, you know, again, you, you have that running game. We talked about it. That running game is so important for Champlain Park, and they do it well. They've got some big guys up front that move people out of the way. Evan Swanstrom on to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and good. So a seven plays. Six runs, three for Preston Nelson, and three for Austin Tucker. And then one pass, which was complete from Tilke to Preston Mensos. Well, you talk about, you talk about efficiency, and that's definitely uh, what that first drive was for, for Champlain Park. Now on the, on the counter side, Cardinals are going to have to fi figure a way to score points, Joe. We talked about it in the opening, and it's something that they've been struggling with this year, just one score in three contests, and that's something they're going to have to try and figure out. Fortunately for them, Danny Scheller is back, and uh, he's, he's a playmaker. We'll see just how healthy he is after what I thought looked like an injury that was going to keep him out a week or two. Well, and we'll see if it limits him or if he labors or limps, but uh, certainly a, a good thing, I think, for the Cardinals, an almost necessary thing because he has such 
a, a big part of what they want to do, and they have so very little else to work with. Well, they they really do, and you know, and so they're trying to. Like I said, they they put in a couple different game plans to see how this uh, game unfolds, but Swanstrom's kick is dropped at the three. And Lafaki got out shy of the 15 and was dragged down abruptly and Coon Rapids will have a long field in front of him. Yeah, he wasn't expecting that. And the last thing Coon Rapids wants is a long field against this solid defense. You know, this they played an Osseo team that uh, that beat them, what was it, uh, 49, to, 49 to 7? Correct. And, and <laughs> Champa Park turns around and beats Osseo 40 to nothing. This defense has really done a really nice job of, uh, of solidifying itself. You keep an eye on number 85. We talked about in the opening. Bruggers. Bruggers number seven. I'm number seven. Sorry. Just close to 85. <laughs> just, just one away. I said eight or five. <laughs> oh, man. Four receivers in a game on first down. Handoff goes to Adi. Founds a hole off the right side. Gets as far as the 17 and is... Stop there after a gain of three or four. Muhammad Jallo on the tackle, one of the, those Rebels on the tackle to bring him down quickly. Gain of three, second and seven from the 18. Scoreboard says four, but it looks more like three to me as well. Cardinals will take the extra yard. Fake the give to Adi. Scheller throws over the middle. Pass is incomplete. It was behind the intended target, Brayden Waldron. And Waldron was open as well. He got just behind the, line the linebackers in front of a couple of the defensive backs. But as you mentioned, that pass was behind. I like the thought to it. I like the, the play call. So third and six from the 18, Cardinals playing behind the chains deep in their own end. And after that impressive opening drive for the Rebels, Cardinals in danger of going three and out, giving it back to him in pretty good field position. Long throw, has a man open and just aired out a little too much looking for Loic Joitza uh, jo on the left side and he was open as well. Exactly, Joitza did a really nice job of getting behind the defense and unfortunately Danny couldn't find him. I mean, he, he, he was definitely, uh, he, had, he had a few steps on the defender. And as you mentioned, now a three and out for the Cardinals offense here on their first series. And you put it right back with uh, what should be pretty good field position for Champlain Park to start their second drive. Well, Reese George bobbled the opening kick and then had a fantastic uh, return, uh, shortened by uh, apparently getting bumped just out of bounds. He's, he'll take this one for midfield. Coming to the near side, gets a block from Luke's. A lot of white jerseys there, not a lot of room. But uh, plus territory for... Champel Park to start with well, after a, a very quick 65-yard drive in se seven plays. Yeah, good job by the special teams to, to limit his return yardage, but, you know, again, you're giving them a short, shorter field here to start that next drive. Ball spotted at the 42, so an eight-yard return, 7.20 to play in the first quarter. Out of the shotgun is Tilke. Handoff goes to George. Has blocking in front of him. Another big gain. It'll be close to a first down. We'll see where they mark it. And they're just and they're getting big chunks. Yeah, you're getting you're getting 10 yards of carry. Uh, that's something that uh, you can ill afford to give up on that for Zach Neenaber's defense. I know Coach Neenaber, we talked a little bit before last game, he said they uh, they did a few different things on defense. And we th I, really, I thought they played a lot better last week than they had in the first couple of games. Tilke throws long, has a man, passes complete. It'll be down 
inside the five. That is Jamel Chroma. And it'll be first and goal from the three. Well, uh, and Chroma really blew by DeGogo. And uh, if he had, uh, unfortunately, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't catch that in stride and walk into the, or run into the end zone. But uh, they're, they're knocking on the door yet again. Nice pass play. Hand off, and this time uh, George stopped in the backfield. There's a flag as well. Well, that may move him back a little bit. Well, I think they'll, I think you maybe decline the penalty. It's 10 yards, though. Yeah. Oh, personal foul personal. face mask. Oh. That would, uh, no, that's not good. So that'll... Thinking it was most likely a hold as it took a minute for well, that uh, to develop. And that's the best penetration the Cardinal defensive line has had. So we'll try uh, first and goal again. Handoff goes to George, and George has stood up at the line. He'll be stopped for no gain. Samson LeClaire on the tackle. Again, just a really nice ankle tackle for Samson, not letting him get uh, getting past and puts a little pressure back on him. But uh, still moves it back to the four. George in the backfield with Tilke. And this is gonna be on the counter to Gilk. He is not going to be able to get there either. I think they're going to mark it just at about the one, one it's and a half. Closer to the two. two. Yeah, maybe closer to the two. So that'll be third down. So after getting here really quickly, Cardinal defense stiffening inside the five, third and goal from the three. Handoff in the middle. George is denied. No. It will be fourth and goal from the two. I mean, that, this is a great stand by the Cardinals. And well, up until they got to the goal to go situation, the Rebels were averaging more than 10 yards per snap. Oh, yeah. And here oh, they are trying to finish it and go up by two scores. Let's see if they throw the ball here. Nope. Pitch goes to George, left side, touchdown. And again, it's, uh, it's so tough, Joe, to stop a team like Champlain Park that has that kind of a running attack from in close like that on four, four tries. Cardinal defense, I thought, did a really nice job on the first three. Tough there. And uh, George is able to find the corner and get in for the, for the touchdown. Swanstrom on to attempt the extra point. Kick is up. It is good. And the Rebels lead 14-0, still 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Well, if you take anything out of that drive for the Cardinals, the fact that they, they remained pretty strong at the goal line and unfortunately gave up that touchdown on fourth down. But you got to be happy with the effort to, to get them to fourth down. And now the Cardinal offense tasked with trying to respond despite the short delay at the yep. end, a, a quick scoring drive again for the home team. And remember, this is a team that, again, uh, they were missing some key players. They were. Lost a close game to Anoka week one and were tight with Maple Grove week two. Got their players back, won 40 to nothing last week against Osseo, and here in the first quarter, a quick 14-0 lead over Coon Rapids. Yeah, Noka came in at the polls. That I, last I looked, they, they were number eight metro area. So that's a, that's a uh, that's a pretty tough opponent, which the Cardinals will see later on. 
Next week. Next week. Uh, that's right. It is next week already. We get to travel to the Pumpkin Bowl. Correct. I like it. Back-to-back -back road games for this Cardinal squad as they continue to look for win number one. Swanstrom, a booming kick. LaFaca will be carried into the end zone, and that's maybe okay. It's better field position than they had to start last time. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he put a leg into that one for sure. So they'll start at the 20. And the Cardinals, first and foremost, just need first, some first downs. They need some momentum uh, on their offense. They need to try and, you know, again, win that battle at the point of attack and give Scheller some opportunity to either, you know, do something with his legs or get an opportunity to see if he can have enough time to pass. You saw a couple of opportunities. He missed a couple of receivers in that first drive. Yeah, they got four yards on first down on a carry by Jeremy Adi, then two incomplete passes and a punt. Thought about the swing pass. Instead, Scheller pulls it down. We'll run straight up the middle. A flag comes in late, and this That's one is most likely coming yeah. back. Would be a gain of about six or seven. Yes, and that's some of the things when you when you get a positive gain and then it comes back by a, by a holding penalty, at least that's what I'm assuming they're going to call. It, it just, it's demoralizing at times. You know, you think to yourself, what do I need to do to gain positive yardage? But block in the back. So the Cardinals giving themselves a longer field, first and 20 from their own 10 yard line. We talk about it all the time. When you're a struggling squad, you can't add mistakes and penalties to the pile because you've got enough of a challenge as it but is. You, re you really do it, and against a good defense like this, and it puts you now first and 20. I mean, you can't panic in this situation. You just have to try and get, get a, a 10 yard chunk if possible. Just try and Quick eat into that. screen, right side is complete. Oh. And uh, Joitza, it looked like run into the Cardinal traffic and that slowed him down. Yep. He's able to get about seven. Still second and long. And it was good to see Danny. I was just about to say something before he ran that ball on first down. You know, how much is it limiting him being a threat to well, run? Right, doesn't seem to. Because he has not attempted to run on his own yet. This handoff goes to Jeremy Adi, and there's just nothing on the left side. He's going to lose a couple. Well, and it's just a really good job by that defense just pursuing to the ball carrier. I mean, they move well laterally. And you saw it on that play. And, and Adi obviously didn't have any opportunity to find any kind of a seam to gain some positive yards. And now all of a sudden you're in, you know, third and long again on a play where you just really need a first down. Third and 14. Coon Rapids. In a definite passing situation. Oh, yeah. Three receivers on the right side, one man wide on the left all by himself. Rolling to his right is Scheller. He steps up, wants to throw on the run, and does. That pass is he caught. That. Wow. And that's going to be, where is he marking it? Oh, about, about a two-yard short. short of the first down. Oh, that was a heck of a catch. It was. Oh, no, there's a flag, a flag in the, the backfield. Uh, uh, we'll see if that's... Uh, I know, I know Scheller, I can't, I think Scheller's trying to, or Adi's trying to calm down Scheller. I'm not sure somebody seems to be upset between either Adi or Scheller. Yeah, right on the sidelines for uh, Joitza. It's roughing the passer penalty on Champlain Park. That's huge for the Cardinals. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a very talented catch. Uh, that, was, that was impressive. And that'll push him all the way out to the 44-yard line. So you could, you could a see. A fresh set of downs. Scheller was hot after that play. He was, uh, I think Adi had to kind of calm him down just a little bit. Because you, you've got that advantage by getting the roughing the pass. You don't want a retaliation. He 
Handoff goes to Adi, looking for room in the middle. Not a lot there, gain of a yard. Again, job, really good job of the defense warming to the ball carrier. Adi looked like he was just trying to jump cut and find a little bit of a seam, a little bit of a hole, but unfortunately not able to do so. And too many blue jerseys there surrounding him to bring him down, just as you mentioned, just for that yard gain. So second and nine. Two receivers either side this time for Scheller. Man in mo motion is Joitza. Runs behind. The little short screen pass to Adi, but uh, they were all over it. Sniff it out. And a late flag flies in away from the play. It would be a gain of about two. We'll see what the flag is throwing. There were two Cardinals and one Rebel where the flag landed. Already the third flag on this very short. Again, a couple of penalties on the defense in this job, I'm sure. Coach Keenan not happy with it. With a 14-0 lead, you're, let, you're letting uh, Coon Rapids get, get some momentum, exactly what they need, whether it's by a penalty or you know an earned first down on the ground or in the air, you still have that opportunity to now have second and short and keep this, this uh, drive alive. Yeah, second and one from the 47 of Champlin. Cardinals only first down thus far on this drive came by way of the penalty. And this is a quarterback draw from the word go and it's gonna come up maybe just short. It depends on exactly where they spot it. He may have just enough and that is how they are gonna rule it. First, and, first down at the 46. Gennato on the tackle. He did a really nice job of holding him up and dragging him back, not letting him get any forward momentum. That's his fourth tackle so far this evening. Number 52 for Champlin Park. Got just enough. Oh, they gave him the first. I thought they he did. didn't grab. Okay. Good. Got the one yard. Like it. Wasn't much there. Hey, or there. It doesn't matter. Just get that. Keep those chains moving. Scheller running from the blitz, directing traffic, and then runs out of bounds after a very short gain. Oh, they're going to put him right back yeah, at the line of scrimmage. Exactly. And that, uh, that was uh, Michael Bruggers on the pursuit for the Rebels, causing him to run out of bounds. On second down, fakes the give to Adi, breaks a tackle and fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Will push his way forward for a gain of two, but uh, that just took too long to develop and the Rebels were all over it. They, they really were, and he did a really good job of getting just those two positive yardage yards because uh, there were a lot of blue jerseys that had an opportunity to bring him down behind the line of scrimmage and he made sure that didn't happen. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter. Champlin Park with a 14-0 lead. Coon Rapids with the ball in Rebel territory when the second quarter starts after this on CTN. Back at Champlain Park High School, just about ready to get the second quarter underway. Coon Rapids with the ball. It's third and eight from the Rebel 44-yard line. Scheller with an empty backfield. 
Looks left, pressure comes, trying to get around the right side and does, throws on the run, that one thrown up for grabs and nearly picked off. A and a flag on the near side, that may be another late hit on the quarterback. And they may give the Cardinals yet another first down. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be dr driving Coach Keenan nuts if that's the case. Because you stopped them, and, and they were going to, at this point in the field, probably most likely punt. No flag, no flag, they're waving it off. The Cardinals are going to go for it. I, I think you kind of have think to at this point. To. I think you're right. Down 14 in enemy territory. But you need your best play right here. Well, you do. Because uh, if you don't make it, then all of a sudden you give a team that's already up 14 to nothing really good field position. You know, I, I mean, I, I, I like the I like the fact that Coach Russell is going for it here because you know they need a spark. At this point, they need something to happen positive again, and you know they've had a little decent little drive. Scheller, looking down the right side, that pass is well incomplete, and Waldron went up, had a piece of it, but the defender able to knock it free. Do we have another flag? I don't think so. Oh, maybe so. Doesn't look like the offense. Cardinal offense staying on the field. Yeah. It's so say it doesn't look like the rebel offense is going out there. Boy, that that's that's two in a row. Wow. Penalties, name of the game. That's that's uh, that's hurt Champlain Park here tonight. I mean, they could say that's the negative negative part of their game so far. Well, another first down gifted to the Cardinals. Third of this drive, second by way of Rebel penalty. So first and ten from the 34. Cardinals' quest for an answer continues. Oh, sometimes when your season isn't going the right way, you need a little luck, and they've had it on this drive. Scheller with Audi in the backfield with him. Looks left. That ball is knocked free. Rebels trying to scoop. Cardinals oh. able to get back on it, but way back at their own 46-yard line. You know, I was, you know, I understand the reason you want to scoop and score, but fall on the ball. Fall on it. I mean, Tampa Park had an opportunity to get it right there and fall on it. 20-yard loss. Yikes. On the play, sets up second and 30. On oh, Champlain. Back at the 46 of Coon Rapids. Champlain Park brought the house on that play. Danny Scheller had no opportunity for anything positive there, and obviously that ball squirted away from him, and, and the Cardinals are just fortunate that uh, one of their own fell on it. Because Champlain Park certainly had a chance to get that turnover. Cardinals will take a timeout facing second and forever. What's in your playbook for second and forever? Not a lot. No? Not a lot. I, I mean, I... Sprinkle a little fairy dust. As per previous the second and long situations, you've got to get a big chunk here. You 10, really, 15, you really at least, do. to give yourself a chance to at least get back and make it interesting for fourth down. Oh, at second and 30, uh, you, you, do, you definitely have to get a big chunk here. I mean, you can't get five yards on this play. You, you need to get, you'd like to try and get at least half of it back. But that's easier said than done. I was setting my goals a little bit lower than that. Let's get 10. Well, you it's second down. Downs. It's second down. So 10, three downs, 10 would be 10, fine. 10, 10 would yards be fine. per down, and you get hey, a I'm, first down, right? I'm thinking big. I'm thinking big. 15 would be nice. Would be really nice. But, you know, positive yardage would be big. That's the key. And it's just really unfortunate right after... Another gift yeah. from the Rebel defense. A penalty that uh, I'm sure has the coaching staff on the home sideline shaking their heads, but uh, easier to, to get over stuff like that when you're up 14-0. Scheller on play action. That pass is low, intended for Joitza. And he was looking at about 15 yards. Well, now you need 15. 
Now it's third At least. Third. Yeah, now you have to have 15. Well, and, you know, the defense have to be kicking themselves. They, they should have been off the field a couple of times on this drive. Well, there's a good chance they're going to get it off the field after this play unless the Cardinals can do something Correct. tremendous on third and 30. And here comes the blitz again. Scheller throws long. Oh. And Waldron behind the defense, but just out of his reach. I'm sorry, that's Gavin Sayadith over on the far sideline. Incomplete, and the Cardinals will have to punt it away. You know, we've seen that a few times here tonight where, where uh, they've had a couple of, of receivers behind the defense, just not able to find it. And that time, Sayadith did a really nice job of getting past the defender. And, and Scheller saw it, just a little bit too much heat on it. Lukes and George, the return men, will stand right about their own 20-yard line, awaiting the punt from Jackson Young. Young, a high, short punt will bounce. George will get out of the way. It'll take a solid Cardinal roll. And the Cardinals will down it inside the 15. Yeah, good punt, and you know, again, need to need to continue to give them long fields. Trailing 14 to nothing, but 10:32 remaining in the opening half. So two possessions, two touchdowns, but by far their worst starting field position. Play action. Tilke scrambles, has room, throws, oh. pass complete. And stepping out of bounds oh. with the No? Nope, incomplete. Did he say he was out of bounds? Must have been. I thought he caught it, but. Adam Ibrahim, I, I thought so too. I thought he caught it along the sidelines and stepped out. So it'll be second and 10 from the 14. They haven't done a lot of passing. Is it just their second pass? No, one pass on each of their first two possessions. Hand off inside and a solid gain for Preston Nelson, but third down. Two yards, third and eight. Another tackle for Samson LeClaire on the play. That's his fifth. He's all over the place. He, we talked about it. He had 15 last week, already five here now. Tilke under pressure, steps up, gets away from some Cardinal arms, able to slide forward for a short gain, but it'll be fourth down, and the Rebels be forced to punt. Get a good pressure inside. I like it, I like the pressure inside by the Cardinal defense. It's a good stop for them. And then nice, car, nice downfield coverage as well. Tilke not able to get an opportunity to get the ball released. And, Good job by the Cardinals to force them uh, to force them to punt in this situation. They sh they should have good field position. Cole Hubbard to punt. High short punt sailing toward the near sidelines, and will take a very solid roll for the home team Rebels and be downed at about the Cardinal 44 yard line. Well, the, the key that you take out of that drive is the defense did what they needed to do is they stopped Tampa Park. Now the opportunity for the offense to see if they can uh, repay the favor to the defense by going down and having a sustained drive and putting some points on the board, Joe. They and need them. And Cooter Rapids will take over almost exactly where they 
were when they gave it up. However, much better down and distance situation. Yes, absolutely. It's not first and ten from their own forty-four yard line. Not third and thirty. Third and thirty is a tough one. That's hard. Oh, who do we? Is this is that Muhammad? Muhammad? Yep. So the Cardinals uh, go to Muhammad in the backfield. Handoff goes to Adi. Able to pick up a few yards out to the 47-yard line. Gain of three. Not sure if uh, if Scheller re-injured that ankle. I'm trying to find number four across the way, but I don't see him. But you have the binoculars. Look for Jeremy Shepard. That's that was exactly what I was doing. But I also got to keep an eye on this football ah, game. You can do it. You're second and seven. Talented. Muhammad hands off to Adi again. No room in the middle. Trying to bounce out to the right side. Avoids one tackle. Gets just shy of midfield, but is stopped there. It'll be third. And about five, yep. maybe four. Oh, a manageable third down situation for the Cardinal offense here. Cardinals two of five on third down. Timeout. Cardinals calling their second timeout. Yeah, and I, based on the body language of some of the coaches, I don't think that was one they wanted to take it a little less than halfway through the second quarter. Right. However, if they're not on the same page, they got to make sure that they are, especially on this all important down. They'd like to keep this drive going, especially after defense held last uh, last time Chaplin had the ball. It's like playing Where's Waldo on a football <laughs> sideline. Look for the trainer and number four. And the trainer's table, number four. Just don't see him. You'd think. I look where the where the trainer's table where I would expect it to be. It does not appear to be there. Oh, you would think if he was on the sideline, he'd be close to the head coach. Third and five, incomplete pass. Looking to set up the screen for Adi and a little miscommunication. And the Cardinals will go three and out. Yeah, again, after a good stand by the defense, going to put that unit back on the field here. And Champa Park certainly not happy that they went. Uh, they had that stalled drive, so they're going to come back and see if they can continue to put some points on the board. Already up 14 nothing. Luke's and George standing just outside their 20. High snap over the head of Jackson Young. He's just got to go back and fall on it. And the Rebels are going to take over at the Coon Rapids 23-yard line. When it rains, it pours. That's an unfortunate situation. I'm not much, you know, Young did the right thing. He fell on it. And now uh, ex exceptional, exceptional field position. Second time they have started on the Cardinals side of the field. But this one uh, almost in the red zone. They were marked right at the 24. Well, they talk about the challenge of stopping this offense when they, and feeling good about stopping them when, you, when they had 85 yards, they don't have 85 yards. Nope. They're already in four down territory. You've got to imagine, and they're back to picking up big chunks. Pass complete to Luke Gilk. Well, oh, Gilk did a really nice job. The, the Cardinals that time defensively brought a lot of pressure, left that middle wide open. Um, 
Tilke did a nice job of finding Gilt, and he did the rest on his own. Puts him back into a goal-to-go -goal situation. First and goal from the eight. George will get the carry run into the left side. He's dragged down from behind after gain of a couple. It'll be second down. Mario Garcia on the tackle for the Cardinals. So second and goal from the seven. Handoff again goes to George. And he's stopped as he hit, gets to the two yard line. It'll be third down. Big, big stick at the end. By Lance Hill. Lance Hill, I believe, second leading uh, tackler on this, this squad for Coon Rapids. A couple opportunities to see if they can push this one in. You saw him have to go to fourth down last time they were this close. Tampa Park's trying to see if they can get it here on third down this time. And, and they won't. And off in the middle goes nowhere. And we'll see another fourth and goal situation. Last time you saw that pitch that on fourth down. So the Cardinals defense have to have, certainly have to be looking for that. George in the backfield with Tilke on fourth and goal from the two. Two receivers on the right. Pitch goes to George, cuts back, finds a gap and scores for the second time tonight. And just really just a nice run by George. And you know, he, he, he runs with power, forces missed tackles. And Champlain Park is gonna have their third touchdown here in the first half. Looking to extra point away for a 21-0 lead. Evan Swanstrom's first two have been very clean. This one is kicked a ton, but right straight down the middle. And that would have uh, been good from quite a ways out. Scoreboard said field goal. <laughs> That's all right. It also said it was third and nine from the 12 when it was third and goal from the seven. So, hey, I digress. <laughs> I just wish the other scoreboards still I know, worked. So it's much easier to see from where we are. Far more convenient from this But that's a, a very window fine, of the booth. fine scoreboard here. It is. At, at uh, Champlain Park Field. No, do they? Swans from a booming kick into the end zone second time. The first one was fielded inside the five and the downfield coverage was beautiful. Yes, it was. And stopped inside the 15 yard line. Lafaka just had absolutely nowhere to go. Nope. Another good kick. Lafaka takes it from the four. Coming back to the middle, looking for blockers, getting into the wedge. He'll get out as far as the 20 yard line. Well, Muhammad remains the quarterback for Coon Rapids. Return. 
Nelson on the special teams tackle for Champlain Park. Cardinals start from their own 20 yard line. Will play action, that pass is incomplete. Looking to the tight end near side, Jeremiah Walker. You've got to again try to try to set up easy plays, get some momentum you these do. things. But down three scores in the first half, you also need to pick up chunks. Well, and you can, you can he had time off of the play action. He did. You can ill afford second and third and longs. I, I mean that 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 kills you here, especially with how aggressive the front seven of this defense have been. Adi trying to find a way around the left side will gain five. It'll be third and five from the 25. Oh, nice uh, nice little run by Jeremy. Pick up some good positive yardage to get him in a situation where they can relatively manageable third down play. Two of six on third down for the Cardinals. Well, their last drive was assisted by a couple of Penalties, yeah. Penalties by the Rebel defense. However, still came up empty. Muhammad, quick throw right side, incomplete, right through the hands of John Pence. Yeah, Pence had an opportunity on the play, but just couldn't bring it in. And the uh, Cardinals will go three and out. With relatively, should be relatively decent field position to start their next drive for Champlain Park. Well, Coon Rapids just hopes it's not as good field position as they had last time. Uh, no, I agree. They brought the punting unit out. and Jackson Young is not a, a, a short guy, <laughs> and that was way over his head. Yes, it was. And you talked about it early, the importance of special teams. So far, the Rebels winning all three battles. High Punt taken by Lukes at the 45. He's into Coon Rapids territory, wrapped up and stopped at the 48-yard line. Yep, good field position to start the drive. Under three minutes remaining in this opening half, 21-0 in favor of the Rebels, they would love the opportunity to put another touchdown on the board before they go to break here. Plenty of time to do so. Cardinal defense hopes to have a say about that. Handoff goes to Nelson. Nelson upended after a very minimal game. Cody the go go on the tackle for Coon Rapids. Nice uh, open field tackle. Bringing them down for short. Uh, They're oh, going to no say gain. no gain. They're going to say no gain. Play action. Tilkey rolls to his right. Chase throws downfield. Incomplete. Good coverage and good pursuit by the Cardinal defense. Yeah, he's looking for Luke Gilku. Yeah. Was in a one on one battle and just a uh, great effort to the very end by Cody to go go. Yeah, two nice plays in a row for Cody. And now third and 10 from the Coon Rapids 48. You know, that first drive by Champlain Park, they were able to just run on that Cardinal defense. They've uh, made a few adjustments and make, have made it much more difficult. I mean, you gave him a short field last time for that last score. Tilkey, pocket collapses nice. and he is sacked. Back on the Rebel side of midfield. Cam Cummings, Coleman, able to grab a hold of him and bring him down. 
Abs, again, that's a, that's a huge play. It's going to force, looks like they're going to, no, they're going to keep the, are they keeping the offense on the field? I would, I I would, would think, think they would I, punt. I would think so in this Fourth situation. Fourth and 13 from yeah. their 49. I would think so. Looks like the punt team. Yep. At first, they uh, it looked like they weren't particularly sure what they what if they're going to keep the offense on. But yep, it's definitely going to get rid of the they ball. They might need the punter out there. That would be important. Cole Hubbard is making his way out. Uh, the Rebels are going to take a timeout here. I think they are a little uh, disheveled there on that situation. So they'll take the timeout, get everybody on the right page before they get rid of the football. Well, just 123 remaining in the first half, and it's been all Champlain Park up 21 to nothing. Coon Rapids, I think, offense only has one. First down that was not by way of Champlin penalty. I think it's what, three three first downs in the half or four? Three, three and two of them by penalty. Yeah. That's a it's rough. Been a rough <laughs> it's been a rough throw <laughs> to hole for sure. Absolutely. And and then again, you, you know, we we put a lot I, of I've scoured the the sidelines across the way, have not located a Trainer's table or a number four in white, so no idea what uh, what's going on with the Cardinals starting quarterback. Well, Hubbard they, to punt from his own 35. They planned for that situation if he uh, something happened where he couldn't continue, and so they they had it. They practiced all week in that situation. High snap, Hubbard able to go up and bring it down, get off a good punt. Neal let it get past him and. The Rebels are going to circle it, and it's going to just come to a stop at about the two-yard line. Cardinals are fortunate they didn't uh, touch that football. Yes. Because uh, there are a lot more blue jerseys than there were white ones. Yes. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, if someone lost a purse or satchel, please see the ladies at the main entrance. Going to put it on the three-yard line. One oh nine to play in the half. Ninety one yard pass to Braden Waldron down <laughs> the right sideline. Joe you hear it here you heard it here first. Muhammad out of the shotgun stand to get his own end zone. Hands off to Adi. Adi trying to get away from all the pressure, able to get back to the line of scrimmage no more. Second down. Shornstein on the tackle for Champlin Park. On the uh, Champlin Park taking a timeout, yeah, maybe looking to, to get the ball back one more time, yeah. knowing that you know Coon Rapids will get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, with 103 remaining, it's you know good strategy. They uh, able to use their timeouts if they have an opportunity to try and, and run their offense again before the half expires. They have two. So second and 10 from the three. Muhammad again out of his own end zone, hands off to Adi, nice hole, cuts back, breaks free and has a first down out as far as the 14 yard line. Yeah, we won't see him, we won't see him uh, call a timeout in this situation now. If they had held him down low again, they would have seen, I would have imagined another timeout to try and preserve the clock, but they'll let, uh, they'll let the, this half play out. Another handoff, Adi. Not going to find a lot there out to the 15. 
That may be the last play of this yeah, first half. Most likely. Cardinals don't seem in any hurry to try and do something about getting, you know, at least a, a big chunk so that then they might have a chance at a Hail Mary. It's like they're just going to let it run out. Yep. Under five. And uh, they will go to the locker room trailing 21 to nothing. Jample Park Rebels have had complete control. The Cardinals through three and a half games this season, just seven total points. We'll be back with the second half after this on CTN. Back at Champlain Park High School, just about ready to get the second half underway. Coon Rapids will get the ball to start, but uh, not a lot of positives to talk about, other than the fact that after Champlain's first drive, uh, the defense played significantly better and limited so. the, the length and distance of those uh, of their plays. LaFaca from the one yard line able to get a good return, a hole out as far as the 24. Now this, this is an opportunity for Coon Rapids here, down 21 to nothing, Joe. If they can try and get their offense moving. Well, we saw Dave Scheller at halftime yep. ambling off the field on crutches. And we also think that uh, the Champlain's Austin Tucker who had their first three rushes of the game may be uh, a little nicked up as well. Haven't yep. seen him since that opening drive. Muhammad and the Cardinals start from the 24. And he's going to throw long on the left side. This is picked off and a big return on the far side. Good blocking, cutting back, and... Finally tripped up is James Fitch. And Champlain Park right away going to start out deep in Coon Rapids territory. You know, you, you want to have a big play. You want to get some momentum there. Just unfortunately for the Cardinals, uh, the pass wasn't where it needed to be. And give credit to the defense for Champlain Park getting a, getting a pick and putting their offense right down at the doorstep to try and put another touchdown on the board for the Rebels. Well, and not only did... Uh, James Fitch just getting perfect position and making an easy catch. Uh, but then all of his teammates got in front of him and, yep. and started blocking downfield a 29-yard return. They try and go to a quick swing pass for Mensos, but it's into the turf from Tilke, and it'll be second and 10. Yeah, Tilke off with that pass. But yeah, you, you talk about that return. Just a great job by his teammates to recognize it and say, "Well, let's uh, we'll lead the way. You you try and score." And uh, he came pretty close. Reese George on the carry. He's met in the backfield, and Cardinals drop him for a loss. And again, defense uh, coming up big in that situation. We've seen that. You talked about after that opening drive, defense really tightened up, and you, would, you wouldn't know it by the score. But uh, they've, they've played really well. Now third and long, obviously four down territory for Champlain Park. They're one of four on third down. Third and 12 from the Cardinal 18. Tilke out of the shotgun. He's got a receiver wide each side. I'll give him five. And that will get them five yards closer. That makes that third down a little bit easier. It'll be third and seven. And as you mentioned, it's definitely four oh, yard yeah. territory here. And Rebels trying to tack on after 
the big defensive takeaway. Third and seven from the 13. Still a receiver wide either side. Reese George in the backfield. Cardinals showing blitz. Tilke wants to run right. Cardinals are there. He comes back to the left, throws complete, touchdown. Wow. Almost, almost looked like he bobbled it and realized that play to the right wasn't going to work, and he rolled left, and he had a receiver in the back of the end zone. Did a nice job to find him, but uh, are they calling? There's a flag. There's a flag. Oh. It's coming back. I'm assuming a hold. Schaefer made a, a great catch going to the ground. That's a, that's a tripping foul, personal foul. And that, uh, boy, is that going to back him up? Yeah, and you take, talk about, uh, you know, flags. I think both team, both coaches felt there were too many in that first half. But not just the number of fouls, but when the Rebels took them. Gave the, yeah. We talked about gave the Cardinals a couple of their first downs. This one backs them up all the way to the 27-yard line. Right. And they've had some on offense that uh, have taken plays away as well. Third and very long. Tilke airs it out to the end zone. The and flags are that's, flying. That's, a, that's defensive pa pass interference, I believe. Yeah, two flags. That it, yep. He must not have caught the pass. No, but I think that's pass interference in the end zone. That's, an, that's unfortunate. Gives back those. Let's try a third and seven again. <laughs> oh. That should put us, yeah, right back to third and seven from the 13. We need to get to the six. And they have, they have two plays to do it. So Tilke out of the shotgun, has George in the backfield with him. Looking to his left, now throws to the right. That pass is nearly picked off. It's a great jump on the ball by Demillion Jones. Bring up fourth down. Let me kick a field goal. So this will be a 31 yard attempt for Swanstrom. Well, he's definitely put more than enough distance on his extra points so far tonight. This one from the right hash, 31 yards away, certainly has plenty of distance and it is between the uprights to tack on three more points. So they do get points off the turnover. Yeah, but then but you look, you go back to that tripping penalty that took a touchdown off the board, and that and that uh, I know Coach uh, Keenan, I'm sure not happy with the amount as you talked about penalties on them in tough situations, both on both sides of the ball. I mean, that's been the one negative for Champlain Park here tonight is that uh, how many penalties? So Swanstrom, and he cleared that one. I'll, I'll bet you another twenty yards. Oh, oh yeah, he, he, I mean, he, well, maybe well, not twenty. Well, That'd be a fifty yards. Yeah, but 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 he, yeah, he booted it a he ways did. past. It cleared by a long way. High boot. Lafaka will take it from the four. Looking for a wedge on the right side, and he's hammered just shy of the 20. Boy, he's just, he's pounded to the ground. That was Dwayne Kamara. Play 
play stat, the 18, so another long field for the Cardinals, trailing 24. Here still early in the third quarter. Yeah, again, a lot of, a lot of long fields for, for the Cardinals here tonight. And again, they're just they're just trying to figure a few things out. I think uh, Adi, oh no, never mind, my bad. I was going to say he was in a quarterback. I didn't uh, see, see Mohammed Mohammed Muhammad. I didn't see well, him. Well, hand it off to Adi, and Adi blows through the hole, trying to get to the outside and does. Has a first down and more, drags a man forward to the 34. Gain of 16. Well, we talked about Adi before. You know, Adi originally started the... the season behind center and then they brought uh, Scheller in that position now Muhammad but uh, he's very elusive and he's quick not the biggest of guys quite obviously but uh, he when when he gets an opportunity getting some open some space and some open field he's going to make something happen because of his quickness Fourteen yard, or 16 yards on the carry biggest play of the game so far for the Cardinal offense Muhammad rolling to his right, throws back to his left, sets up the the, the screen to Sayadeth. He's got another first down out to the 46-yard line, a gain of 12. A couple of nice plays back-to-back -back for the Cardinals, you know, trying to get this offense clicking here. Trailing by 24. an offense that netted only three yards in the first half after a fumble and a bad snap that cost him 46 yards combined. Handoff goes to Adi. A lot of blue jerseys yeah. at the point of attack. He's going to gain a yard maybe. Yeah, that we, we, we did see a lot of that. Just great job pursuing to the ball. Great job clogging that middle by that uh, defense from Champlain Park and who so far is pitching a shutout. Well, again, they shut out Osseo last week, they a 40 nothing win. Their first win of the season. Muhammad out of the shotgun, two receivers on the right side. The pitch will go to Adi. Adi thought about throwing, now we'll take it down, now we'll throw, and that is intercepted. We have flags on the play. A return down the sidelines. Hurbling a would-be tackler, Amir Carpenter, is down inside the 25. Well, did he throw that beyond the line of scrimmage? I couldn't tell. Because the flag is kind of right there. Oh, it's a hold. Yeah, it's a hold on Coon Rapids. They're going to decline. So second turnover in this third quarter, and we're not even four minutes in. Two big interceptions, and both setting the Champlain Park offense up deep in plus territory. Yeah, again, just positive things happen when you turn for the uh, defense there when they get the turnover. We talked about turnovers and chances and things like that, and the Rebels uh, looking to take advantage of another turnover. Oh, he must have stepped out of bounds. Yeah. Mark it back at the 31. Still great field position for Champlain Park to start. Up 24 to nothing. Hand off in the middle. Nelson bounces outside and has a nice gain before being ridden down out of bounds. We saw a lot of that on that first drive by, by Champlain Park. We haven't seen a lot of that uh, positive gain on the ground, but uh, that was a nice run there to move the chains. Out of bounds right at the first down marker. Fresh set from the 21. Luke's sprinting out on the right side. Nelson is in the backfield, he gets the carry. Breaks through the initial contact and picks up about five. Off the right side. Well, uh, Coach Keenan talked about the importance of the of lines up front, and and I think that they they're doing. We've got a cardinal down. 
So say, I think they're doing a better job at opening holes here on this drive than they did uh, in the last couple for them. You can't see who that is. Coach Russin going to take a walk out to check on his player. It's Cody to go go. Yep. We talked about it, had a couple of big plays on that last uh, no, or uh, Champlain Park drive. Certainly hope it's nothing too serious. He is able to get up and head for the sideline under his own power. Well, that's good to see. Walking a little gingerly. So it'll be second and six from the 17. Lukes goes in motion to the right. Handoff goes to Nelson again. Cardinals bring bodies, wrap him up, and drop him for a short loss. Again, the uh, you know Rebels having a tough time down here in the in the Cardinal end. The last number of drives came away with a field goal the last time. Cummings Coleman on the tackle number seven on the evening for Cam. Be third and seven from the 18. One of five on third down for the Rebels. Not, not efficient. They're going to go with a quarterback sweep and Cardinals good pursuit. No yeah. chance for Tilkey to get the yardage needed. He's stopped at the 15. Oh, there's flag. Oh, I think. Oh, and Tilkey's down. Seems. To yeah, he, I think he came down Flags hard on his came shoulder. In late. Are they going to say a late hit on the quarterback, maybe? Well, at that point, he's a runner, so it would not be a late hit on a quarterback. He could be a late hit. I mean, late hit. I'm just saying a late hit. That's what I meant. He cannot be roughing the passer. No, so I, didn't, no I, didn't know, I know that. I just think it was maybe it was a late hit. He's down and they more contact. I don't know. I didn't see that. That would be a blow to the... Uh, Rebels program if uh, he misses time. It's going against Champlin. Oh. Both oh. ways. Oh. There you go. Oh, two, two penalties, two penalties yep. against the Cardinals, three personal fouls. Too much frustration, half the distance yep. will give them the first down. That's the, that's the last thing the Cardinals needed there. And this will be another goal to go situation, ball down at the eight yard line. Cardinals looking to get another uh, player on the field, make a substitution. Brady Shorenstein takes over a quarterback for Champlin Park. All right. I think they straightened it all out, Joe. First and goal from the seven. Handoff goes to Gilk on the sweep, and he See on the one short down just on short? the one. I think the ball came loose and ended up in the end zone, but after he was down, be second to goal from the one. Bringing in another another sub substitution, so they bring in a big package. Down, 
Full house behind Shorenstein under center. He'll take it on the sneak and he will get in. No signal yet. Maybe, there, there it is. is. Touchdown. That'll make it uh, 30 to nothing awaiting an extra point. So two turnovers in the quarter for Champlin Park's defense has led to nine points so far. That yeah, drive was six plays, 31 yards, took uh, 234 off the clock. 240, my bad. Flags fly, the kick was good, but it's a false start. They're gonna yeah. back him up. Oh, he's got plenty of leg. I don't think they're too concerned about that. As long as it's only one. <laughs> Beautiful moon rising. Yes. Over across the field. Almost looks like a pumpkin. It is it's about it's that the great time. pumpkin in the sky. That snap was in in on the, the holder, but uh, he was able to get it down in time. Swanstrom puts it through, and it is 31 to nothing. Well, still plenty of time left in the third quarter, 5.45 remaining. Look at that. Look at that moon. Moon over Champlain Park. What well, a gorgeous evening yes. for, for football. Yep. Couldn't have asked for a nicer evening. It well, could have, but may not have gotten it. <laughs> the Rebels certainly enjoying the, the evening thus far. Lots to cheer about. Two interceptions. In this third quarter, it has led to 10 extra points. For 10 more points. And push their lead to 31. Swanstrom. A short one. A bit shorter punt. Lafaka bobbled it, able to scoop it back up inside the 15. Rebels with good downfield coverage again. Wrap him up quickly. He's able to get out as far as the 16, maybe the 17. But uh, a very short return. It's a couple that he's bobbled tonight. Yeah, he's fortunate for to keep a hold of him. Just going to say that on that one, he was fortunate to make sure he gathered it in. And you mentioned Cardinals already with a couple of turnovers here in this quarter. And they're pushed back towards their goal line again. Handoff goes to Adi trying to get there's a box to develop, now cuts back, but it's holding. not a lot there. He's out across the 25, or out across the 20, rather. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be coming back. Oh, two Cardinals called for holding. So they'll take the one that was further back. Yep. Cardinals going the wrong way. So they're gonna spot it right at the 10 yard line. So first and 17 from the 10. 
Handoff to Adi, and he's stopped to the backfield. Yeah, again, look, good lateral pursuit to the ball. Adi had nowhere to go. Too many blue jerseys up there to stand in his way. So that will be second and 20 from the seven. Muhammad waits, throws right, looking deep. That pass is incomplete. Looking for Waldron down the right sideline. He was well covered, he had a hand on it. But it's incomplete and it'll be third and long. Getting a lot of third and long situations for the Cardinals tonight. Still looking for a score. Yeah, they have faced several third and 10 or more plays, and the handoff goes to Adi. He's gonna be stopped again in the backfield, and it will be a punting situation with Jackson Young standing in his own end zone. And great field position, uh, out, should be anyway, for Champlain Park. So on fourth and 19, Young punting near the back of his own end zone. Gets away a decent punt. It'll be taken at the 40 by George. And he has stopped a good open field tackle from Parker Nick. Yeah, really good, good job of bringing him down. But uh, excellent field position for the Rebels to start this next drive. We'll see who's behind center for Champlain Park if Tillery can come back. Looks like a Levi Audette is going to come in. He's just a sophomore. 5'10", 140. <laughs> Should not have two, two, two guys playing the same position wearing the same number. That's just not right. Audette will hand it off. George has some blocks on the left side, and he's going to get another good chunk, gain of about eight. Reese George is the son of Champlain Park principal Mike George. Yep. And his mom, Elise George, works at Coon Rapids High School. His older brother, Tyler George, played football quarterback. And yep. uh, hockey and baseball for Coon Rapids. Yeah, Elise came up and said hello to us at the press box. And we thank her for everything she does for Coon Rapids Athletic Department. She's a big help to me. She gets me things when I need it, and I appreciate that. Big shout out to her. Second at about two. Handoff goes to George. Right side. He's got the first down. He's dragged down he inside fumbled. the 20. The ball came out, and Cardinals the Cardinals have it. Have it. I think Gogo got a hand in there and it was recovered. Oh, it was recovered by uh, Karen, Price Karen. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. You know, so we have Joel, Joel Zipper who hates when we do number nine and he's encouraging me to do it. So I, I couldn't let him down. <laughs> 2.57 to go, third quarter. Cardinals take over at their own 18 yard line. Big turnover again, again, when the, car, when the uh, Rebels were threatening. And after a nice run by George. And they've got Snow in, the sophomore quarterback. Hands off to Jeremy Adi, and just not a lot in the nope. middle for a five foot seven hundred and fifty pound running back. Yeah, it's uh, that's tough sledding against all those big boys up front. No gain, second and ten. 
seen Aiden Snow come in a couple of times. Came in last week for the last play of the first half just to throw the Hail Mary. And he's definitely got an arm. He, 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 got, it, the ball. he got it downfield. He did. Unfortunately, he was intercepted. But he comes in with uh, his team trailing by 31 and late in the third quarter. Handoff goes to Adi and slipped the first guy, not, but again, not going anywhere. no gain. Third and long. Under two minutes remaining in quarter number three. Three receivers on the right side for Snow. Third and 10, trying to get the Rebels to jump. Now we'll look to his left and throw that way. That pass is caught by Waldron, and it'll be a first down out across midfield. The flag flies as well. Yeah, that'll be defensive pass interference. Was obviously be declined by the Cardinals, and that was a huge play. Pretty throw, Beauty. Joe. Laid it in there perfectly. I like it. Only we had replay. Right. And uh, that was the right call, Howie, and yep. it'll be a first and 10 for the Cardinals at the 47 yard line of Champel Park. Well, it's pretty a pass as we've seen a Coon Rapids uh, quarterback through all year. I would agree with that statement. Oh, and now they're adding. Oh, they're adding it. There, there was, there was a, a, yeah. also a flag late hit on the quarterback, so give the Cardinals 15 more, and they'll have it uh, first and 10 from the 33 of Champlin Park. Snow, quick throw oh. is intercepted. And a lot of room to run for Amir Carpenter, his second interception. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was number four. Uh, it was uh, Brady Shortstein, who also came in as the quarterback. We have two number fours, though. It we could do. have been pa Pascal Holzel, but he's not listed as a defensive player. Shortstein so, is. Yes. That's, and that Third interception oh. in this quarter thrown by three different quarterbacks. That's crazy. That's, that's a tough one. It's... Yeah, just uh, put that one over the middle and right right to the defender. 103 to go, third quarter. Handoff goes to Nelson, and this one's going to be stopped immediately. encroachment on the defense. That'll move it into Cardinal territory. First and five from the Coon Rapids 47. <laughs> Handoff goes to Nelson. Breaks a couple of tackles, has a first down to the Coon Rapids 40-yard line. Oh, we've seen a lot of big runs tonight from Champlain Park running backs. and Got a couple of guys that can get the job they done. They the rock. Again, Austin Tucker had the first three carries of the night, uh, averaging eight, nine yards a carry, and uh, then maybe nicked up a little bit. We believe he's down on the sideline. Yep. Thought a jersey on, hard to tell. First and 10 for the Cooter Rapids 40. Another carry for Nelson, this time wrapped up and stopped in the backfield. Another nice tackle by Sampson LeClaire. Uh, he's all over the place. Between LeClaire and, and Cummings Coleman and Bryce Karen and 
making a lot of tackles tonight. Well, the defense has been on the field a lot. They have. They, they have to be. Uh, they have to be a tired group. Second and twelve from the Cardinal forty-two. And will they get off one more snap? No, they won't. They'll nope. let it go to the end of the third quarter. Champel Park High School, the Rebels starting with the ball and a 31-0 lead. They have outscored their opponents 71 to nothing in the last seven quarters. That's impressive. Levi Odette in at quarterback, hands off again to Nelson. Nelson makes a couple men miss. Picks up about five, but it'll be third and long. And again, that pressure, he looked to try and go up the middle, but that pressure by the Cardinal defense up the middle forces him to the outside, and, and really a minimal gain. Be third and seven from the 37. They're two of six on third down. Nearly got the yeah. Cardinals to jump on the near side, but able to restrain themselves. Handoff goes to Nelson, cuts back. Not a lot there, and oh, then think, a flag in the backfield. I think, that's, I think it's a uh, roughing penalty again, but Cummings Coleman on the tackle for the Cardinals, but I think that one's going to go in the favor of the Rebels. Or not. Yeah, I think. Yep. And we'll give them a first down, yeah. Personal foul. Yep. Yep. That's a big one, 15. So it will set it up first and 10 from the 21. Adet on play action, oh. he lost it, but he's able to hop back on top of it. I don't know, I don't, he just slipped out of his did. hand, it's the back of his. Yep, he went back to throw and it came right out of his hand. Oh, He'll lose seven yards on the play. That's movement. Now it's it's Champlain Park that's <laughs> going the wrong way. Yeah, you're gonna call that one on the entire offensive line. So <laughs> gonna put it back to second and 22. They only need to get to the 11 yard line. They do for a first down. And off goes to Nelson. Nelson gets to the outside, bumped out of bounds. Inside the 25. Still shy of the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third and about 12. Looks like they're gonna mark it at the 23. And they will go for it. Well, it's third down. Well, they, oh, I thought it was fourth. I thought they switched it to fourth, my bad. So I'm, I'm assuming you're right. I, I, I believe they will. Indeed, go for it on third down. Yeah, plus. well, they, I hope they would go for it on third down. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, I, I would also assume it's four down territory at this point. Or did point. they kick the field goal? It like might. They it might. Previous. It'd be interesting to see how far back they would go with him. He certainly got a lot of leg. But, uh, yeah, not a lot of room for Nelson nope. on this one. He's at the 20. That's going to set up fourth and about nine. Well, they will go for it. Not instead of kicking the field goal. The earlier one was 31 yards. This would be about 37, 38. And now they are going to send it, send oh. out Swanstrom. Seven yards, looks like, where they're spotting it. The flag. Was that on the defense? It was a timeout. That oh, was a timeout. Yeah, they may have seen the, I don't know if the, the uh, play clock may have been winding down. But, uh, yeah, they, I think they just uh, took three points off the board, just killed it again. Yep. Exactly nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Champlain Park, again, with their trying for their second straight shutout. Swanstrom again from 37 yards. Plenty of distance, but wide to the left. And it's empty. no good. Uh, it's a, uh, that's a win for the defense there. They come away empty. The offense will take the ball over here to with 8.55 remaining in this contest. And it's all Chapel Park. Coon Rapids will take over first and 10 from their own 20 yard line, 8.55 remaining in the fourth quarter. Snow. And flags. <laughs> kind of been the theme. False start. False start. Yep. Yeah, the Cardinals have been fighting uphill battle all game long. They certainly have. Negative so they have not been yardage. able to get ahead of the chains nope. at all. They had a couple of plays back to back that, that earned first downs earlier in this uh, second half, but outside of that, it's been a rough night. It has been a rough night. Especially when it comes to the penalties and the long fields they've faced. Handoff goes to Adi in the middle, and he is Nowhere out as far as the 18, gain of three. Mohamed Jallo on the tackle for the Rebels. High snap, still able to bring it down. The pass is high on the far side, looking for 
see it if. Yeah, the coverage was there, but just obviously the pass uh, too tall. Be third and 12. Snow scrambling in trouble. Yeah, no He's going to be wrapped up and dropped for a loss back at the 16 yard line. The Cardinals will go three and out. And out will come Jackson Young once more. Yeah, just not able to do anything. They, they had they had a couple plays, uh, a drive or two ago, where, they, where they, were get, they were getting some positive yards, but that's really been it for the Cardinals. Jackson Young standing at his own two yard line. High snap, able to bring it down. Short punt will bounce and take a Champlain Park hop. It'll be down to inside the 35 yard line. Yeah, great field position again. We've, 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 that's been kind of a running theme. Good field position for the Rebels, but they haven't been able to capitalize on every opportunity that they've had tonight. And this score could be much greater than the 31 nothing that it is. Average starting field position, the Coon Rapids 46 yard line. <laughs> Cardinals, what's Cardinals starting, like average starting field position? has got to be inside the 30. Got to be. 19.9, yeah. Why? Right at the 20. Right at the 20. I, I thought maybe they had a couple that started better, but apparently not. First and 10 from the 34. Oh, was a and a fumble on the snap and they are able to fall on it. It looks like we've got, I see another, no, that is still. That's still Audette. Still Audette. Loss of five yards on the play, yeah. second and 15. It's about six and a half minutes remaining. George wrapped up in the backfield and stopped for a loss. Good pressure from the Cardinals immediately on that one. Haven't had a lot of TFLs tonight. Nope, that was Demario Garcia again. He had, he had one earlier. Loss of four to set up third and 19. Yeah, they're going the wrong way. Nelson to carry, breaks free. He's got a room to run to the right. He's got the first down and out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Yeah, just a great job of uh, breaking tackles and finding an open hole and then getting the lane, getting bouncing it to the outside and able to get around that corner. Picking up that first down that continues to keep this drive alive for the Rebels. First and 10 from the Coon Rapids 20. So even on third and 19, You'd think of passing down, but not for the Rebels, nope. and they convert with the legs of Preston Nelson. And now first and 10. Adat wants to throw incomplete, and Was it behind Amir Carpenter yep. on the far side? So it'll be second and 10.
Hand off to Nelson. This Gar time he is stopped almost immediately. A gain of a yard, third down. Again, Garcia on the tackle for the Cardinals. He's had an active uh, day from his position on the defensive uh, side of the ball. Handoff goes to George, cuts back and gets another good gain. He's going to be close, so he's going to have the first have down it. inside the 10. It'll be goal to go. Yeah, he fumbled early. We didn't see a lot of him after that, but now back in on this drive. George stays in the backfield with Audet out of the shotgun. First and goal, handoff goes to George, and he's going to work his way down as far as the three-yard line, second down. And he continues to uh, keep the ball moving and work the clock. Rebels will even their record at 2-2. Two and two. And unfortunately, the Cardinals will drop to 0 4. Cardinals would love to keep him out of the end zone. Oh, yeah. To prevent going to running time for the third time in four games. George hit in the backfield, gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. It will be four, no, that'll be make it third and goal from the three. Yeah, however, not a lot of time left on the clock, under two minutes. I'm sorry, under three minutes. Yeah, and I mean, it may not seem like a lot. No, but it's something. To, you know, come up with the stop here, you yep. still lose, but just that part of it. Not being running time. Not you know, being. Oh, we have a oh, we have a cardinal down on the field. And that's something that has hit them hard the yeah, last couple of weeks have. as well. Uh, you know, obviously we talked about Danny going down last week. We didn't think he'd make it back for this week. Clearly, didn't make it uh, through the entire contest, and uh, was seen on on crutches at halftime and we certainly hope he's able to mend as quickly and as uh, as properly as possible and uh, the Cardinals could certainly use him back on the field that was, but you certainly want to make sure that he's uh, safe and healthy. Yeah that was Dorian Sol Solaris and he was able to walk off under his own power, love to see that. So third and goal from the three. Handoff goes to Nelson. He's hit immediately, able to spin his way back to the line of scrimmage. And it'll be fourth and goal. Scored a couple, I think, on fourth and goal. Haven't they did. They? Haven't they, is, have both well, of... I know one for sure. I was just going to ask if both of Reese George's touchdowns were on fourth and goal situations I'd have to look. I know I know one was one certainly was the was, pitch but it's Nelson yep. in the backfield with him uh, with hot tent for this fourth down he'll get the carry running right has a blocker and he has the end zone touchdown Champlin Park so that'll make it I'll put it at 37 nothing awaiting an extra point Nelson, 17 carries, 110 yards, and two scores. 
on the night. Yeah, okay. Two scores for him, two yep. for George. And then the other was the sneak by Shorenstein. Kick is up, it is good. It is 38 to nothing in favor of the home team. And again, you know, Champlain Park just rolling. They started out 0-2, but two relatively close games. They blow out Osseo 40 nothing last week, now yep. up 38 to nothing, with uh, just a couple of minutes left here in this one. Yeah, and and again, there are a lot of positives if you're uh, if you're Champlain Park to take out, but there are some negatives because there's way too many penalties. Way too many. Yeah. Ten plays to go 34 yards, 519 off the clock. They're able to soak that clock down. Lefacca and Neal are the deep backs awaiting the kick from Swanstrom. 148 to play, and it will be running time once the Cardinals snap the ball. Lafaka will take this one from the three. Looking for a seam on the right side, won't find it. He stopped short of the 20. Wrestled down at about the 17 yard line. As you so yeah, the Cardinals <laughs> starting average starting field position inside their own 20. Yeah. And uh, the tough. Rebels starting field, average starting field position plus territory. Well, yep. That's no, nope. I mean, and again, it just you can't. Uh, it, it's so tough to sustain drives when you start with those long fields. Well, and a couple of these that they've started deep in their own end has also started with penalties yep. to back them up even further, just making their own uh, job and uh, life a little bit harder. Snow on first down, throwing long, has a man just out of the fingertips. Of the intended receiver, Sandith. Remember, Sandith has the only only score of the, year. Score of the season for yep. the Cardinals. It was a 64-yard touchdown. Yep. And and those, like you mentioned, right off his fingertips. That, again, that that he's uh, pretty good at throwing that long ball. So second and ten. As we go under a minute remaining. High snap, Snow brings it down. Pressure coming, he's hit as he throws it. Looking for Sandith, it's tipped and then caught. Sandith has a chance, he could go all the way, and he will. The Cardinals are not going to be shut out this week. I'll tell you, you know, as tough as this game has been for Coon Rapids, what a nice play to end it on. Uh, just a just a great job, great catch, and then he's got some speed. Oh, absolutely, and and I mean, the the defender made a play on the ball, stepped up, tried to go for the pick, deflected right into Santa's hands, and yep. then he d was not going to be caught. And so, yeah, his I think that's his only two receptions of the season, both, both for touchdowns, for long scores. Oh, he had an, he did have yep, one. He uh, did have one. Twelve yep. yard catch yep, earlier. earlier today. Yep. But uh, Gavin Sandiff, an 83-yard 80, uh, touchdown. Short-lived running time. <laughs> and, and again, you're frustrated if you're, the, if you're the Cardinals because your season hasn't gone the way that you'd like. But, and, and, you know, you, you kind of I'm sure they're all hanging their heads on the sidelines up until that pass. And, again, just... You know, obviously you're not going to win the game, but you get some you get some satisfaction because oh, a little bit, you get yeah. off the schneid and you get on the scoreboard. Well, and and I think uh, Champlin is probably wishing they. I mean, I, that's a that's a feather in the cap for sure. Yep. Uh, if you can hold for shutouts, absolutely. Um, and they may have thought they had that one all sewn up. I'm sure they did. And the Cardinals all so. backed up in their own end, and the the defender made a nice play on the pass. Just not able to get the pick, and the deflection went right to Sayadith. And uh, again, off to the races, and you're not going to catch him. 83 yards, and the Cardinals 
on the board right here at the end of this fourth quarter. Jackson Young on to attempt the extra point. The kick is up. It is good. It is 38-7. to seven. Something for the far sideline to celebrate about. Two plays, 83 yards. 109 off the clock, but a big, long touchdown. 83 yards. 39 ticks remain on the clock. The Rebels will still go to 2-2, two and two and the Cardinals will still fall to 0-4, but uh, it was a little bit of satisfaction for Coon Rapids to be able to put some points on the board here. Oh, huge, huge. And I, I'd be interested to see, does Champlin just take a knee? Well, I, I wouldn't surprise me. I mean, th theoretically, the Cardinals can stop the clock twice, so they right. couldn't kneel on it to, to kill the rest right. of the clock unless they got at least one first down. I don't think the Cardinals would take a timeout no. if they took a knee, but we'll see. And at the same time, you know, as we've talked about in some of these other games that have been lopsided losses, you know, the other teams trying to get guys deeper in the roster out and get them yep. some playing time. Want to, and those guys want to show what they can do. They don't want to just go out there to take a knee. Onside kick attempt, but... The Rebels were ready for it. James Fitch with the recovery. They'll take over at their own 40 yard line. Yeah, they're lining up in the victory oh, yeah. position. Why they're just going to take a knee. They should. Yeah. That's the way. That's the way the game should end. Absolutely. This was, this was a game that was completely controlled by Chapel Park from the opening kick. Uh, their opening drive was very impressive. Seven plays to go, 65 yards. They had a big return on the opening kickoff. They did. Uh, and then an impressive drive to go down and score. Uh, they really controlled it. And, and we talked about, you know, if it's not for. Uh, some penalties and a couple of miscues uh, and, and uh, failures to convert on the part of Champlain Park. Uh, offensively, they could have won this even more convincingly than they did. Without question. I, I, I think that, again, they, they left a lot of points on the table for just foolish things that they did, but they got to be happy the fact they went there 2-2. Two and two. And the Cardinals, you know, the, the satisfaction they take out of this and maybe the only satisfaction that they, although the defense played well at Sparks and they, and, they, and they did play tough down at the goal line, but that long pass for the touchdown to get on the board is huge for the Cardinals. Uh, you know, just, yeah, a team that yeah, has just been starved yeah, looking for, for offense, things. just their yep. second score of the season, and they're at the midway point now after game four. And, uh, you know, we see Danny Scheller down going through the handshake yep. line on crutches. Um, Hate to see that, and we certainly hope for the best for his recovery, we and we hope for the best for the Cardinals to bounce back next week. They're on the road again against the Anoka Tornadoes. We will be there, of course, but before that, we have uh, doubleheader soccer on Tuesday night, but that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score is Champlain Park 38, Coon Rapids 7. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.